What is up guys? Welcome to the video. Today is actually Black Friday and we just packaged up the first 30 some apparel orders, two trash bags full, and we're running into a unique problem. I have sold so many of these. We've had 75 orders so far in the first, how long has it been? 20 hours since the sale's been live that I'm out of shipping materials. We have some orders so massive that they require big boxes that I simply don't have. So we're gonna take this to the post office now, come back, keep shipping apparel. First though, we gotta go buy more boxes. So let's get this video started guys. Come on. All right, we ended up getting the boxes we needed. Unfortunately though, I underestimated the size of them in the store. So some of these are a little deep if you ordered a lot of stuff. Um, there's gonna be a little wiggle room in here, but we got everything packaged up, that way you're good to go. But orders like this, for instance, is what we need these boxes for. I did not anticipate this, but hey, it's part of being in business. You gotta roll with the punches and improvise on the spot. So like this guy, Mike Hall, big shout out, buddy. We got three shirts here. So he's got two of the large Team RJF shirts. We got the new Rooster shirt, baby, love that. Two pairs of RJF sweat shorts, and then also a large RJ Fit apparel hoodie. So boom, I always talk about like in business, when you offer a product or a service to somebody, you should do your best to get it out ASAP. So today is Black Friday, and like I said, we have trash bags full of orders we're gonna take to the post office today to get these to you guys ASAP. So thank you all so much for your support. Sale will go on all the way through Monday, rjfitapparel.com, code RJF25, sends you 25% off your entire order. So this dude probably just saved like 50 bucks, something along those lines, but anyways, let's get this uh, all packaged up, and then uh, we got a lift to get in, people. Look at this guys, got myself a movie date right here. About every item from RJ Fit Apparel is sitting right here. We were getting ready to take our first round of the post office. I wanted to give you guys, we're shooting thumbnails, trying to get pictures, and I felt like this looked like a good one. But this might not even end up being the thumbnail, but just so you guys know, there's multiple takes for thumbnails at times. We might shoot three of them, and you know, the best one wins, so this one might not have won, but I think I'll probably post it on Instagram if you really want to see how the final picture turned out. But, uh, all right, I think you can unbury me and we can head to the post office. All right, let's do it. Oh. So much apparel. Ah. Got him? So every apparel order has been dropped off. Thank you guys once again. Now we gotta go to the gym? Yes. Lifting? Yes. Chest day, baby. So I figured instead of giving you guys an edit, I feel like the last few videos we did some like edit, edit, edit. So maybe a little bit instructional kind of what we're doing. So we already did some flat bench and incline bench. On the flat bench, we did about six sets, starting light, went heavier as we went. Same thing with the incline. Feeling pretty good right about now, putting all those uh, Thanksgiving calories to good use. But on this machine right here, right, this is a incline hammer strength machine. So basically with this, you normally do this, right? which I feel a little bit, but I don't really get the full benefit out of it. So on stuff like that, if you have a machine like this, right? And if you're not really feeling the normal movement, try this. Instead, I'll turn to the side, right? Take it, and then I push it across my chest, and you can feel that squeeze. You can probably see it right there too, as it goes up, and then way more isolation on your pec. And I get a way better burn from doing it that way. And then once you hit like 12 on one side, switch to the other, do the exact same thing. I'm telling you, in my personal opinion, doing them that way, one arm instead of doing them double, I get way more out of that. But understand we all have different body types, we have different ranges of motion and muscle bellies and activation points with our workouts. So what works for me might not work for you, but I'm telling you guys, if, like I said, double handed ain't working, try the single arms and you'll love it, I promise. Fourth exercise in our little chest workout. Now a variation I do on your basic cable flies, a lot of people I see always go over, right, and go down, or they go from like side to side. I don't see a lot of people do the upwards motion. This is where I really feel builds the bottom of the chest and helps give you like that like, Oof. I know I don't have the biggest chest in the world, but from where it used to be, we made a lot of gains. So it helps kind of lift it up, push it out, gives you, you know, you know, you get what I'm saying. So basically, uh, cable, cable. Like I said, instead of going downwards here, we're going upwards. So straighten my back, lock in, and then, ow, oof, oof. Should have went a little lighter. Ow, oof. Focusing on that squeeze, keeping my arms straight, that way I'm not using my biceps. Pure chest <sighs> movement. And see, I'm only like four reps in, I already really feel that. So, ooh, ah, ooh. Tony, if you've been doing the other variations, try those. If you do it right and you really squeeze at the end of it, 
you'll feel it the next day, I promise. Okay guys, the seventh and final exercise in this chest routine I'm going to do is some dips. Now, since this is my final one, I'm not gonna go weighted. I'm just gonna go body weight and I'm gonna go for reps. Two failure, probably four sets. What I like to do with this, typically on a chest day, if I don't do triceps after, so I hit arms yesterday, I'll do chest and abs. So what I like to do to kind of transition into abs is I'll hit my set of dips to failure. So basically going in, down, up, focusing on that squeeze right, hit that for as many reps as I can. Then as soon as I'm done, transition back, boom, lock in. Then I do hanging leg raises right here. Once again, I will do those to failure as well. Probably get about 20 or so. Then each set I do, you know, if I start with 12 on dips and I can do 20 of the leg raises, by the end of it, I might only be able to do like five dips because I've been going to failure and then maybe like 10 leg raises, but a good way to jumpstart a transition into abs. But we're gonna go ahead and finish this workout up. I'm gonna go get some food. So I guess I will see you guys when we get there. All right guys, a little post-workout meal here. Yesterday I ate like crap, so today we're trying to keep it a little cleaner while still having some of those bulking foods in. We got four grilled tenders right here. As you can see, a little bit of sauce on the side here we're gonna use. Then I got a burger with only blue cheese, bacon, medium with extra well-done fries. It's gonna be a nice little uh, post-workout meal here, baby. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this, and um, I don't know what we're getting into next. Probably gonna go check on Hank, see how Black Friday's going and all that good stuff. So yeah, don't be jealous, I'll catch you in the next clip. Boom, checking in on my boy here for Black Friday. How was it, man? A mess. A mess, but? A, a good mess. A good mess? Yeah. Well, all the stacks and stuff you had are gone now. Gone, yep. So we had a good day. Uh, I think about 15 people waiting. Out yeah. Out in the cold, so. Do your deals <clears throat> run until Monday? No, till today. Till today, I say, you doing anything on Monday that people need to know about? We are not. Ooh, you should have said you were, that way they'd come in. Cyber Monday for... Pure Bollocks and Out Hustle. Pure Bollocks and Out Hustle. All right, yeah, stay tuned for that. We have lots of good deals going on for Pure Bollocks and Out Hustle. Like, what's our company name? And yeah. you got it, we have over, so for Pure Bollocks and Out Hustle, we have over 70 orders right now? Yeah, so I'm gonna be drowned for the next two weeks trying to get these, thing, these things out, but. So the more you order, the more work Ank's gotta do, go. so. You gonna hurt my pay. He's gonna <laughs> help me. <laughs> All right, big dog, we'll do a little Black Friday check-in. I think we're gonna go do some more stuff, so stay tuned. Okay guys, just got to the mall. We're gonna do a little bit of Black Friday shopping. Look behind me though. This place is absolutely packed. If you've never been out on Black Friday, which I assume you have, it is like the craziest shopping day of the year. I actually went out last night and got all my Black Friday shopping done, which I'll show you guys what I got later. You, uh, Some of you might be a little surprised. Some of you are gonna be like, yeah, I figured. But as you can see, this is about to be crazy. So we're gonna come in here, gotta get a couple things. I'm throwing a little party for all my friends tomorrow night. So uh, who knows, there might be a dealer here and two. A dealer here too. There might be a dealer two in here. There we go. Then I might snag up. So let's go see what we can get into. Check it out guys, this is my favorite store in this mall. It's called Super Game Team. They have nothing but retro stuff. There's like retro consoles, PlayStation 2 games, PlayStation 1 games, like old magazines and everything. This place is super awesome. I always come here for a little nostalgia. And quick shout out to the best original Xbox game ever, Jet Set Radio Future. If you've never played this, there's really no way now to, unless you have an original Xbox, but crucial. If you ever played anything like this, comment below. If you have an original Xbox favorite game, comment below too. I wanna see what you guys' suggestions are. This is probably my personal favorite. I'm not including Halo though. You can't really count Halo, but this one, for sure, hands down. All right, guys, just left. It is crazy busy in there. But here's the thing, though, is like, used to be I'd come out to these places and I'd see all these deals, but literally, like, I'm at a point in life where like, I kind of have everything I need. Yeah. So when I show you guys later what I got for Black Friday, you're probably just gonna be like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Anyways, it is late. It's been a long day. About to go home. Uh -oh. And yeah, where's the car? Oh, here it is. <laughs> all right, I will see you guys back at the house. And we are back at the house. I am exhausted, such a long day, but I figured before we leave this off, I need to show you guys what I got for Black Friday. Like I said, I didn't need no fancy TV, anything like that, but one thing did catch my eye, so check this out. Some of you might have guessed, you're probably like, this has been way too many video games so far, and I apologize, but this is my life, so here we go. So before we get into the video games, they had a deal on Dragon Ball Z socks. Let me crank this lighting up a little bit. Boom, so I got myself some Dragon Ball Z socks. Got Goku getting ready to do the spirit bomb right there. Got Super Saiyan Goku right there. Best anime of all time, by the way. Also got some Goku and Piccolo socks as well. Got a really good deal on these. These were like seven bucks at GameStop, so can't complain. And then a lot of these games were on sale. So Prey was on sale, got it for 20 bucks. I wanted to play this. My big thing is lately is supporting single player games. 
because a lot of dramas happen in the video game industry right now you guys probably don't care about but support single player games guys if you want to keep seeing them you got to support them so bop ray another single player game i wanted to support got this for like 20 bucks too shadow of war the new uh, lord of the rings game first one was amazing looking forward to playing that we got the walking dead from telltale season three cannot wait to play that 15 bucks and the evil within two the first one was one of my favorite horror video games of all time so look forward to playing that as well got a good deal on that so we got four new games on top of the mountain of games i already have i still need to play and then some classics here. This is one of the first games I ever played on Xbox Live when it first came out. So this is backwards compatible now on Xbox. So I'm gonna play this, go down Nostalgia Lane here. And then Blood Awake was the first game I ever purchased for Xbox long before I ever even had an Xbox. I bought this as one of those things in my head. I was like, if I buy this game, then eventually I'll save up as a kid and I'll be able to have an Xbox. And it's exactly what this game did. So nostalgia right here. So yeah, this is basically my Black Friday. Nothing uh, crazy, but I wanted to feel like I was participating. So boom, boom, boom. Here we go, guys. What do you think? Comment below. What do you think of my Black Friday haul? And we are gonna call this a night. I am exhausted. It is eight o'clock at night. About to have some company over to hang out for little bit and I'm just gonna relax so enjoyed this day Black Friday is crazy like I said I don't go too nuts for it really this is the first Black Friday I've had where I didn't really get to go get anything and I had to kind of give other people stuff and ship it out but I absolutely love all the support you guys have shown especially over at Pure Bollocks man we had over 70 orders out of, as of the time we were over there and that's combined with stacks that is just incredible on both brands so like I said we have those deals running all weekend long stop by make sure you take advantage of them because it really is a good deal if you've been holding out on trying any of this stuff now is the best time especially all the stacks I'll put pictures in right here. Pure Bollocks has some really cool stuff going on as well as Out Hustle. You can get both flavors for a really good price. I'm telling you, it's the strongest pre-workout on the market. <laughs> Put an asterisk next to that. Like I said, I am a little biased, but I really do think it's one of the strongest ones out there. So thank you guys so much for your support. RJFitApparel.com has been incredible as well. Don't forget your code. RJF25 saves you 25%. And thank you guys. Really, like this is... uh insane like the support over the last month two months years we just hit 200,000 subscribers guys like life is crazy and it all started with the fact that i had decided one day to pick up a camera and record myself doing some goofy stuff and it is now my full-time job and <laughs> life has a crazy way of working out so i'm done rambling guys i apologize for that like i said hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did hit that like button and as always guys don't forget to smile remain positive and pay someone a compliment because you never know whose day you could be making better with that we are out here it's been remington james production and I will see you fine, ladies and gentlemen, at the next video. See you guys.